Hi there, it's Ruth at Artful Stampin' and this card was made a little while ago. I was commissioned to make a 20th birthday card and so I'm using powder pink as a base and using the In Colour Stack uh, DSP papers, the powder pink and the lemon lime twist and I cut a square uh, to fit my cardstock and then just distress the edges. I had already cut out a circle from the DSP because I knew that I was going to be placing the lime on top so that was going to be hidden and again I just, just, just dressed the edges <laughs> uh, to create a bit of a vintagey look and then I sort of tore the sort of distressed areas back a bit more so that you could see the pink popping up from behind uh, the lemon lime twist. So it's worth spending some time doing this because um, I think it just adds a really lovely sort of touch to your card, makes it look really 3D. And then by adding a little bit of crumb cake with a sponge, it just gives it again a more vintagey kind of aged feel. So the pink circle that I previously cut out, I flipped over and uh, stuck it onto a scallop circle uh, cut with the circle uh, framelits dies. So here I am twisting um, and shaping the petals of the daisy punch and I cut out four, so two in sweet sugar plum and two in the powder pink. I wanted to create a really full looking flower so I stuck the four layers all together and once you have them really stuck down you can then play with the petals and pull them back and sort of get them how you want it to look. So then I just edged them with a bit of uh, fresh fig as well. So this card was based on one that I'd made previously for a friend of mine and I'd put the picture on social media and someone had seen it and wanted a similar card for their daughter. So I cut out some um, vellum leaves and shaped them with my pointy tw tweezers and then cut out one of the sprigs from the uh, petal palette for, um, dies and, oh actually no, I cut out more sprigs, <laughs> sorry, I thought I only cut out one, there's two there and then place those underneath. So I'd already obviously cut out quite a few bits and pieces ready to play with. Uh, here are the swirls from Swirly Bird and I'm just folding over a portion of the vellum to make it stick up a little bit more and just laden my pink scallop circle with loads and loads of dimensionals to make sure it would stick really really well. So I had three of the large ones and then I had a couple of the smaller ones. A uh, little tip with that, when you're cutting them out, you can place the smaller swirly kind of circle inside the larger one as you cut it out and it just saves, you know, saves time and it saves uh, using uh, wasting vellum as well. You also sometimes get these little bits that sort of fall out from underneath it and you can use those for bits and bobs as well. Sorry, technical word, bits and bobs. <laughs> I meant decorating. So I'd already cut out a few more dyes and leaves with the fresh fig and the numbers with gold glimmer paper. It just adds a really gorgeous touch of, touch of luxury to your card using that glimmer paper. And because it's so fine, the glimmer, it doesn't look kind of too glitzy and um, tacky. It just looks really, really beautiful. So here's a piece of paper from the... Uh, uh, is it Colour Me or Colourful Seasons 6x6 uh, six six pad and I'm using the uh, crackle kind of glaze effect which again is so vintage and gorgeous. So here I am starting to assemble it all just adding extra leaves. I think that oak leaf is probably my most used uh, leaf out of that collection, the Vintage Leaves Dyes collection. I do have the stamps but I must admit I probably have used the dyes more often than the stamps. So here I am just putting more dimensionals because I don't want the card to fall apart. Um, especially as it was going to be a, for someone's special birthday. And of course I just had to use a bit of the gold thread and I just wrapped it around my fingers and just basically dolloped it on and um, because I've put so many dimensionals it all kind of held it in place. But I did add a few extra. So 
trying to decide where to put that flower. <laughs> and then I place lots of uh, the purple leaves around. And putting the darker colour immediately around the circle just seems to help frame it and uh, make the 20 the focal point, which of course it should really. And the glimmer leaves just uh, add a little bit more to it as well. So I hope this video just helps to inspire you and helps you to understand the process in which you have to go to just cr to create a card that may look really, really complicated, but all it is is just different layers of texture and uh, different elements. And um, yeah, it's if you have a few different dyes and um, and flowers, then it, it is fairly straightforward to, to put a card together like this. You just have to spend the time doing some cutting and, um, you know, do get the tweezers in there to shape the leaves and because that really does make it look quite 3D rather than it being a flat um, kind of looking card. You know, even, you know, obviously it is paper, but the more we can make it look less like paper, I think um, it just gives it a little bit of life. So a good dollop of glue to make sure that really, really sticks. You know, I don't want that flower falling off um, either on the way to the recipient or, you know, once they have it. So I think at this point I thought, oh, I need to put a centre in this. So I used the largest of the uh, faceted gems to stick into the middle and added a little bit of uh, sparkle with these gorgeous epoxy stickers. I can't get enough of them. They're such fun just to sprinkle around. And this is a retired Wink of Stella, but I do believe it's available from um, other companies. Stampin' Up! used to stock it, and it's just really gorgeous for adding a little bit of extra glitz. And then in again with the tweezers, I think I realised that I felt the flower was taking up too much room on the card so I decided to swirl or twirl the petals inwards and this made it look more like a kind of chrysanthemum um, by adding these extra kind of um, twists into it. And then, of course, I had to colour in underneath because it then revealed the petals underneath. So, as usual, I, I never work directly to a base, just in case I make a mistake. So I leave that right to the last minute to assemble. Um, and I, I did some extra distressing on the inside and, and then stuck, stuck it all down. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you found the video helpful and inspiring and if you want to know more please head to artfulstampin.co.uk and of course um, subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much bye